So about two weeks ago, DaVinci Resolve 16.1 full release came out of beta, and a couple of people had issues with different aspects of DaVinci Resolve, if it was rendering, if it was overall performance. A lot of those issues were addressed in 16.1. Let's take a look at them. So when I personally installed 16.1, I had no issues. Everything was running smoothly. I rendered out videos, no problems. And once I put out the video, it seemed like there was a lot of feedback saying that people are having issues. It was coming at all angles for me. I had some on Twitter. I had some in emails. I had some on YouTube comments. So I was kind of confused because I had no issues. And no, don't get me wrong. And there's thousands of different ways to spec uh, computers. And a lot of people are also having issues with some of the newer hardware, mainly uh, AMD's side of things with their new uh, GPUs. I decided that I was going to run a poll and see if it was just me that was having a flawless time or if there was other people also having a good time. And so I ran a poll and it looked like there was a good deal of people that were having an all right time. But there were some people that were having issues where they just flat out couldn't render a video. And so they had to revert back to an older version. A lot of people were also upset that Blackmagic wasn't just putting out releases, just fixing issues. Each release that they were putting out was also adding tools or new features. So in this one, they turned around something, I would say relatively quick. And the whole set of notes for this release, it's all just addressing different issues. I'll have a link in the description going to uh, my website with the whole list there that you can look over as well, but we'll just take a quick look at it here. It's a little PDF that I grabbed. And I, one of the big things that I noticed people were saying is that when they were done rendering out a file, file that they rendered out wasn't viewable, that there was some type of problem with it. So um, that was one of the things that they said that they addressed here. There were a couple other things. I know that there was one thing that I was continuously getting People that have the new the Radeon 5700 cards, uh, they're, they're having issues. And it seems like some of the other Radeon cards aren't having issues. But I was kind of hoping that they would address it somewhere in here. Because even on the Fusion side, people are having issues with those cards. Um, I'm not sure if it has to do something with a driver update that has to happen. Or if it is something within DaVinci Resolve. I know some people are also having problems on the premiere side when it comes to that card. So I'm not sure if it's that card specifically, and I wish I had the hardware to test it out myself, but unfortunately I don't. Uh, so with that said, with this um, going up, if you are having issues or if you're not having issues on the community page, I'm going to be putting up a poll uh, just to get some insight. If you do end up getting going to 16.1.1, uh, if you do uh, install it, you know, let me know if you previously had an issue and if it's been resolved or if you've had an issue and you still have an issue and kind of what your issue is, maybe some um, specs of like what your system is. Really interested to see what your you know viewpoints are once installing this, if it does work, if are you able to now render out stuff and actually deliver it to something, if it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever, or a client. Uh, I'd be really interested to see if this worked out for you or if there's still issues out there. Sometimes I get issues with people saying, oh, you said that there's a link in the description, but you just went to their support page. So let me just show those people. So I will typically give this link that goes to the DaVinci Resolve family of products. And typically you'll go to the page and it'll look like this. You scroll down over here, latest downloads. I don't know when you're going to watch the video. So I want to give you, you know, where you can get the newest updates. If you do go here to update a file and let's say you do go to 16.1.1 and it does not work. You can always go back to an older version. Let me show you. As you scroll down through here, you will see older versions. Every version that they've ever released is pretty much here. We can go scroll all the way down here to DaVinci Resolve 11.3. Highly suggest not going back there because uh, 
yeah, it gets kind of rough in the overall, uh, if you're used to DaVinci Resolve at least 14, uh, going back that far gets kind of rough. But you at least have the ability to go back and kind of work with any type of hardware that you might have. If, you know, 15 doesn't work for you, you can try 14. And if that doesn't work, maybe you can go back a little bit further. Because um, all of these, at, with incremental updates, um, they try to take advantage of the newest hardware that's on the market. So if you have a six-year-old system and you're trying to use DaVinci Resolve 16.1.1 and maybe you had uh, hardware that was mediocre at the time at best, getting the newer, the newest, uh, you know, update might not lend you know that well to you know good performance and stuff like that so going back to an older version you might be lacking in a couple of features but you might have an overall better you know stable you know performing product and at least you'll be able to get the job done whatever it is that you're trying to do um, but yeah that's kind of all i got for you for today and uh like i said let me know in the description if this update worked for you i'm also going to be on the community page uh, posting a poll there let me know there as well there would be a better spot to put like if you are having issues what your hardware is how you you know what kind of an issue you are having because um, you know we can talk about it. it's a little easier over there but yeah with that being said my name's JR and thanks for watching guys